Actually, I got in know last week a big to do about there being an or between you and Aiden O'Connell on the depth chart. And that serves any motivation that made me inspire you to play as well as you did, sadly, Big Ten Offensive Player of the Week? Uh, yeah, it kind of motivated me at, at practice to just, hey, you got to really, really focus. And, you know, I'm trying to keep trying to be really, really focused and try to build off what I did last week in practice. But, yeah, it was a little, little bit of motivation. Were, were you surprised by that, by the award? Uh, I mean, Aiden's a really, really good player. And, uh, you know, I hadn't won a game with me at quarterback, so – I think they wanted to put a little pressure on me. And, uh, I mean, I think I stepped up to the challenge, though. So you just took it as a challenge? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think you did best Saturday? I mean, you hit 80% of your passes, I think 420 yards, three mm -hmm. touchdowns. I mean, a great game. Why do you think it clicked for you? Uh, I mean, I think our scheme was really good for that game. and. Uh, everyone was on. Everyone was making plays. The offensive line did really, really well. Receivers were going up for me and making contested catches sometimes. And guys were getting open. I mean, it's a whole lot easier to throw to guys that are open and you got time back there. And just makes it my job really easy, actually. And you and Bryson really had a click in ten catches, I think, for 140 yards. He's sort of as, I guess, a safety blanket for you. Yeah, and that was one of our big things for the week was get him the ball. I mean, he's one of our best players. So that was a big emphasis throughout the week is trying to design plays to get him the ball and also get it in the quarterback's heads. Hey, let's get let's get this guy the ball. And Jack, uh, you went to David Bell five times on third downs and completed four of them. Um, talk about your chemistry there. Obviously, uh, he continues to develop into a receiver a lot of people thought. Yeah, I mean, David's a great player, and uh, kind of almost when you get a one-on-one -on -one with David and he's running like a slant or a go, it's kind of almost, hey, let's get it to him because that's kind of, even if he's covered, he's still going to make a play on it. Uh, that's kind of the thing. As long as you give him a catchable ball and if he's on a go ball, you can let him go up and make a play, and keep the ball in play, don't throw it over his head or anything. But most of the time, go up and make a play. What challenges does Iowa's defense pose? Uh, they're kind of like a, a bend but don't break defense. They're not going to pressure a whole lot. They're kind of going to just play off a lot of zone coverage, a lot of off. They're not going to – they're going to make you put a, a full drive together for 80 yards. They're not going to shoot themselves in the foot. So we're going to have to be consistent and be able to stay out of the chains and be able to, you know, take what the defense gives us. How do you think the experience playing at Penn State will, help, you know, sort of prepare you maybe for – your next road start? Um, I mean, obviously two great environments in Penn State and uh, at Iowa. So, uh, you know, when I, when I was out there, I, I didn't really notice the, the fans or the crowd or how big the stadium was. But I did, you know, the noise was a little bit. But uh, so we got a couple of stuff to try to, you know, so we might not be able to go on, on our regular cadence. So we're going to have to switch things up. So, I mean, it's not too big of a, too big of a difference for me, I don't think.